crowd in Boston tonight and a big endorsement for Barack Obama. Thousands of people gathered on the Boston Common to hear Governor Deval Patrick announce formally what we've known for the better part of a week. He's endorsing Obama. Political reporter Allison King joins us tonight with that story. Allison? Well, this is definitely one of the largest political gatherings in at least the past decade uh, here on Boston Common. About five to 10,000 people came out on this balmy October night to hear from two men who were considered uh, to be among the next generation of black political leaders in America. And I want to say to Senator Obama, welcome. Presidential candidate Barack Obama, Patrick told a crowd of thousands that gathered on Boston Common that the country didn't need a Democrat, it needed a leader. I don't care. I don't care whether the next president, next president is the first. Need a Democrat, it needed a leader. President. Or the president. Or the president. Or the president. Or the first woman president. Or the first whatever. Patrick would support in the and operates. And he took several swipes at Clinton, who paints Clinton, who paints her. And he took several swipes at Clinton, who paints herself as the experienced candidate, who knows about standing up for what's right, not just reading the polls, not just putting my finger out to the wind. Now make no mistake what this night was largely all about. Everywhere you turned, people with clipboards, taking names, email addresses, signing people up to volunteer for the Obama campaign in New Hampshire. By all accounts, are the, a successful night for Barack Obama. Allison, what role, if any, does this endorsement by Deval Patrick play in the push and pull between uh, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama for black folks? Well, you know, interestingly, Hillary Clinton does have a significant lead in the polls among black voters. I mean, a lot of people believe this is because uh, President Clinton is very popular in the African American community. Remember, they called him the first black president. Um, and she benefits from a lot of that goodwill and, and that uh, popularity. But also, you know, Democrats in general want to win this time around. And when they see Hillary Clinton, Black, White, whomever, with that solid lead, you know, it certainly helps to get people to jump on the bandwagon. That is, though, precisely for all the women who turn around.